Hey everybody, me and Emma's out in the shop working on a few things, and it's been a long time since I've done a video. And there's a reason for it. You can look around here in my big cluster. You can see the addition. I'll show you that here in just a second. Everything stopped. We decided to go ahead and move to our property, and we're in the middle of closing the deal on this house in a few days. So, check out this Chevrolet we bought. It's just for the purpose of hauling. It's a nice, good uh, 100,000 mile engine. It's a, uh, what we got here, let me turn this light on here. It's a 350 engine with a little modifications done to it. Kind of nice. One owner vehicle. Truck aside, the reason I'm making this video is we are moving and I want to notify my guys and gals that watch my channel. One of the things that I ran across is that, like this truck here has a two inch ball on it right now. This trailer's two inch. But most of my trailers are two and five sixteenths. I've got one of them, the Emma trailer. You'll see it in old videos. And it has a two and five sixteenths uh, hitch on it. And there's one thing you can do to solve that when you're using like a budget or a U-Haul or an Enterprise, one of the larger trucks. You can get one of these. I'll put the link down below. Now, this is $25 or $26 on Amazon, but it's only $20 bucks at Walmart and Amazon takes about eight days to get it to you. Walmart got this to me in two days. So pretty good. Now, this is a unique item. It's very well made hardened steel. And let me get, get her opened up and I'll show you here what, uh, what this is like, all right? Now, back here in the back of this truck, we're putting in a fifth wheel. I got the plates, been in back here working on it. And here is a little ball that we're gonna use on my wife's car to tow another little trailer. And that little trailer will be that Harbor Freight double axle so that she can haul her big ride and lawnmower and stuff. Now, look at this. That's a two inch ball. And for a rider truck that we will be picking up, and hauling it's got a magnet it's set of magnets in it so um, you will lock this on and you will put grease inside and there's a small gap small gap that will remain on the on these you see that and the reason it does that is because when you put your other hitch on it it'll close but it's made that way to press the grease all through there so you will buy one of these and you will put just regular axle grease or bearing grease a little bit on it and then you'll slap this on now even though it's got magnets on it you see the little magnets right there even though it has them on it this thing will not stay on there like the first one i got when you're driving down the highway especially me when i took mine off road that sucker was gone so you can notice by the taper you see it's got a slight gap here well that's on purpose so that you can put the grease inside for the price, you can't beat this. It is hardened steel. So most U-Haul trucks, rider trucks, budget trucks that you would rent for a move, they're only going to have a two-inch ball like this pickup's got now. And in that case, those are going to be in their steel bumpers. They're going to be either welded on or they'll have a, a weld down here on the nut. So you cannot remove that to put a two and five sixteenths on it. But if you carry one of these in your glove box... You got the whole damn problem solved. Well worth it. How many times have you gone somewhere to go pick up a trailer or, or uh, anything, you know, at a rental place, and you did, you had a two-inch ball? Generally, most everybody has a two-inch ball. And you pull up there, and you're like, and they're like, nope, can't rent it. Well, salvation in the glove box. All right, guys, there's going to be a lot more videos. Look for that. I'll put that link below the video. There'll be a lot more videos. All of this is getting out of here. Um, all of this is going in the back of my semi-truck box trailer and being hauled out, including everything you see here. A full-size trailer is hauling it out. These are all the new hubs for that 73 Winnebago, also in videos, all six bolt, even though 3,500. That's These are really nice. You don't have to worry about your what kind of wheel you use because you're getting six bolt. And that's a smart move, I'm giving y'all a little update. Kira Marie's out here. That's what she was doing is changing the oil in the Chevrolet. Um, she says it's her truck now. So you guys 
Come back, you'll see more. And the new house, we're going to have a massive build, way bigger than what this is. You're going to see everything not only perfected, but laid out every ounce. Get your subscription, watch for more, and you guys are going to see some crazy stuff down there. All right, y'all be good, right? Yep.